What's going on YouTube? Kevin here from TGI Tech Day bringing you guys a quick tip regarding how to do zero latency monitoring with any USB microphone you might have in your recording arsenal. Me personally, I have a Blue Snowball. I bought it a long time ago and I love it. It does absolutely great audio recordings for the price I paid for it. And I really want to do zero latency monitoring with it, but unfortunately Blue Microphones does not have a zero latency monitoring headphone jack on the blue snowball but in this tutorial I will be showing you guys how to do that with the help of the Macintosh and the helpful app GarageBand. So without further ado let's get into this video. So before we really get this show on the road, I just want to say that this technique will work for both the Mac and the PC. And even though I mentioned in the beginning this was, you know, for the Macintosh or with the help of a Macintosh, I just want to say that at the end of this video, I will be showing you guys how to do this with Audacity, which is an application available for both the Mac and the PC platforms. So no matter what type of computer you're using, you can do this. Just follow whichever instructions are for whatever computer you use. But right now, the main video will be focusing on the Mac. Fire up a new voice project from GarageBand, click choose, name it whatever you want, save it wherever you want, and click create. And we are now going to fire this into full screen, take advantage of lines, nice full screen applications. And here on the left, we want to take your attention to the tracks. Here we have male basic or female basic. It doesn't really matter which one you pick, just delete the other one or so there's only one track left. And here on the right, you want to go to real instrument, browse, show all vocals, and then click no effects. And you guys can see why it doesn't matter if we delete the male or the female basic, it just turns to no effects anyways. But why are we choosing no effects? Like why aren't I choosing say male basic here? Well, if you guys, you know, zero latency monitoring means there's no lag between whenever the microphone receives the audio and when you hear it. So essentially it's like you have a pair of headphones and you're listening to, you know, what you sound like right now, which is kind of normal, whatever you hear from your ears normally is what you can get except through the microphone through technology. If we apply, say, something like the male basic effect here, which is kind of like an EQ to make your voice you know, sound a little better, it takes time for the computer to process the audio coming from your microphone and then taking more time to spit it out through your headphones so you hear it. In other words, it's not zero latency. There's a lot of lag between when you actually say something and when you hear it in your headphones. And it's not even just, it's not a negligible difference. It's a pretty big difference in terms of the time lag. And in fact, it sounds a lot like an echo, which is very annoying in my opinion. And it's definitely not zero latency. Sorry for all the double negatives, but hope you guys got my point. So for that reason, we're choosing no effects. If we click no effects here, GarageBand will automatically filter all of the audio coming in through my microphone, shoving it and pretty much redirecting it right out to my headphones so I hear it the moment I say it. So down here in the lower right, we have the audio source, which is already selected by default, Serio Blue Snowball, which is what I wanted. Here is the monitor button, and this is where you want to obviously make the right choice. You have off, pretty self-explanatory, you have on, and you also have on no feedback protection. Now feedback protection is a cool feature that GarageBand has that if in the event, you let's say you're monitoring your recording via you know monitoring speakers and not just your headphones. If feedback does occur by chance, let's say your, your microphone picks up a little bit of the sound that comes through your speakers and it produces feedback, feedback protection will cut the monitoring so that it's still recording whatever audio is being recorded. Let's say it's recording a podcast and it'll keep recording that, but it'll cut the monitoring. It'll pop up a dialogue and it'll ask you, it'll say, do you want to turn the monitor off? Do you want to leave the monitor on? Or do you want to you know, leave the monitor on with no feedback protection? And so pretty much you have these three options right here. You have off, on, or on, no feedback protection. And in this case, I would always choose on because it does have feedback protection. If the decibel level of the feedback gets too high, it will automatically you know, cut it down so that it doesn't really make a really bad screeching noise. And really, you should be looking for, out for that anyway, and you should really, you know, if you even have a little bit of feedback, try to cut that out of your recording. But really, this has been just you know the basic aspect of it. There are a lot of other settings you can tweak in GarageBand, and there are a lot of different things that you can do. But this has been just the bare basics in terms of how to do zero latency monitoring, how to just get the sound from your microphone, whatever it's picking up, and shooting it out through the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack from your computer. At this point in time, we're going to swap over to the PC application. I'm going to swap over to Audacity, which again is an audio program that is written for both the Macintosh and the PC platforms. Hopefully, if you guys have Windows or you guys use a PC, you will be able to get Audacity, which is a free download, and you will be able to do zero latency monitoring with that. 
So here we have Audacity. Like I mentioned before, it's an application built for both the Mac and the PC that records audio and does a little bit of editing with it. I really don't re need the most updated version, so I'm kind of stuck with an older version. If you have an upgraded version of Audacity and the menus or the layout have changed, which I don't think it really does, uh, just bear with me. Hopefully you can find the menus and buttons I'm looking for. But first we wanna make sure that our input source is right. We have the blue snowball, which is what I want, and our built-in output, which is the either the speaker or the 3.5 millimeter audio jack, whichever one, is working properly. Hopefully you have a pair of headphones plugged in or something like that, or a pair of monitoring speakers, but whatever you need, just go ahead and plug it into your audio outsource and we are good to go. So you want to go to the preferences or the settings, whichever one your computer has, and we're going to go to the recording section of the settings. And here we have software playthrough. This is what you want to click. It says software playthrough, listen while recording or monitoring a new track. This is what you want. Now hardware playthrough is the, it says the exact same thing here, but the difference is if you have a microphone that has a zero latency monitoring, you know, headphone jack, if for some reason when you record, and it doesn't output through that, this should do the trick. We hit hardware playthrough, that should play through the hardware, which is, you know, your microphone. But since I don't have that, I'm not gonna check it. And here, audio to buffer, this should be zero. I think by default, it's about a thousand milliseconds, but you want it to be zero, because if you read here, it says higher equals more latency. We want zero latency, so we're gonna put that to zero milliseconds. It doesn't make that much of a difference, but any difference that helps, it helps. We click OK, and now we click record. Now, because I am using ScreenFlow and because I am recording audio for this particular video and I'm also recording for Audacity, there is a little bit of a lag. Now, granted, you're probably not recording two audio sources at once, but I have turned off ScreenFlow and tried this method out. And I will say it's slightly worse than GarageBand. GarageBand does a nice better job in terms of the zero latency monitoring. Audacity, there's still a noticeable lag. It's very small, but it's still noticeable. Again, it's not going to be very detrimental. However, if you are trying to sync up, let's say, audio from a video and this audio from, you know, this type of recording setup, your lips aren't really going to match up with the audio that comes from the computer. It does lag at least that much. It is pretty noticeable, but again, it's not hugely detrimental. But you'll have to, you know, see for yourself, try this out for yourself to ensure that, you know, whether or not. I think this is okay, or no, I don't think of those okay, this is not acceptable. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. I've showed you both ways to how to do this on both a Mac and a PC, how to do zero latency monitoring with a USB microphone. Hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully this helps out with your recording careers in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future. And I'll see you guys next Tech Day.